The preacher who gave Red a ride would probably be shocked to know the banjo inside the raggedy case was worth $25,000. And even more shocked to learn it wasn't exactly hers. He'd probably call it stolen. She called it getting even. The night mail quit the force, she ended up at a stale-smelling casino bar off the Las Vegas Strip. Around 10 p.m., she realized no amount of whiskey would wash away the scene with Sean that played in her head, a bloody, unending nightmare loop. His outstretched hand, his face the color of concrete, the sound of the broken music box, its song, The Entertainer, a cruel joke. Love admired the magnificent Pacific Ocean outside her window, but it was too unpredictable. She remembered that every time she walked by the Anchor Memorial Park on the Embarcadero. The 7,000-pound iron anchor showing the names of men and women lost at sea reminded her too much of the Kentucky coal mines that took so many people from her life. Three women whose lives will cross, their paths connected by loss and the hope of a new life on California's beautiful Central Coast. I have always had a special feeling for California's Central Coast, which is why I set my Benny Harper mystery series among its golden hills and sheltering oak trees. When I decided to write a novel that didn't have a dead body at its center, I considered many settings, but I couldn't resist coming back to the seaside community of Morro Bay. It seemed the perfect home for Love Mercy Johnson, her songwriting granddaughter Rhett, and her dear friend Melina LeBlanc, an ex-Las Vegas police officer with secrets of her own. An unexpected crisis brings these three women together, teaching them about hope, family, and never giving up on those you love. Love Mercy, a new novel by Erling Fowler, Berkeley Publishing Group, March 2009.